In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the U-trips formation in Madden 21, why it's so important to understand how to use it, and really what you can do with it to really make it, I think, one of the best offensive formations in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel and you have not hit the subscribe button yet, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. We do that every day through tips and strategies just like this one. And so if you want to learn more about this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We release every videos every single day, and it's completely free to subscribe. So let's dive right in. All subscribing does is literally just lets you know what's kind of going on on the channel. But in today's video, I want to go over um, the Y off trips pats formation. This is a formation that is, used to be called the U trips from New England. Um, and I actually have a full ebook on the New England Patriots offensive playbook uh, if you want to get that in the description. Um, but if you want to just get the U trips, if you want to learn a little bit about U trips, um, I've put together a one hour or so U trips um, kind of preview. And we have a, obviously more in depth guide in our ebook. But if you want to get the U trips uh, preview, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208 218 6900. That's at the top right hand corner of your screen. That's the cell phone number. But just text the word Madden to that. And what's going to happen is I'm going to respond to it with a link to um, the U trip so you can be able to go check it out. It's got a whole playlist of things from my text message membership, um, including split close and other things like that. Also, defensive schemes. But that's, that's how you can get that. So, anyways. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the play tight end deep out. This is one of the. This is just a phenomenal little passing concept here. There's a lot that you can do from this, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this play as far as it contains demand coverage. But honestly, I really don't do anything. The one thing that I would recommend doing is I would actually take that X receiver, which is your tight end, and there's a there's a lot of different things that you could do with him. But really, kind of what I like to do is just a simple quick out. Okay, just a simple little. 10, maybe a 10 yard out, but but definitely, you know, something like this. Basically turn it into kind of a flooding concept. But what you're gonna see is this running back, when he cuts to the outside, is gonna do a nice little job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. If you don't want to use that route, I understand. Um, because it doesn't you can't smart route it, you can't get it to go any deeper, so it's just gonna kind of be what it's gonna be. Um, but as you see, I mean it does beat man to man, but it doesn't like kill it. You know what I mean? It doesn't beat it for 10 yards, it's a quick little throw. The cool part is, like, let's say they're playing some zone coverage on you. Um, you can throw this route really quickly, as you can see. Um, but you can also use an option route. If you don't want to use that route, you can use an option route. The option route will be very effective as well. So I'll show you that really quickly here. So if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, really the two, two or three primary things that you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for your option route on the left side. You're also going to want to look for your tight end. Um, your tight end on the smart routed out route is really, really consistent and very effective against man. As you can see, it just kind of cuts to the outside. It's very similar to the passing play flood. And what's really cool about this little 10-yard out route is it's going to put him in just a really unique position. So if they're playing something like a cover three like this right here, you see he's gonna go deep enough. So I can just basically pass lead that over the top of the zones. And as you can see, we're gonna be able to complete it for a really easy uh, game. Now the other read against main to main coverage is um, going to be this square receiver on the left side. You're gonna see that he's gonna, you know, again, if this is your best receiver, that's where you want him. And as you can see, he's gonna to cut to the inside and just be able to get very good uh, separation. Now, again, the cool part with this offense is there's so many things you can do with motion snaps, and this is one of the plays that I don't necessarily do a ton of motion snaps with. You can literally just run this play stock. You don't even have to make any adjustments. You're going to see that against zone, that tight end is going to curl. If you want to, you can high point pass it if they're playing kind of underneath. Um, you can do that as well. So the other thing that you can do uh, with this is let's say that they're running, and a lot of people will do this in this game. A lot of people will run will be wanting to run some type of Mabel coverage where they basically do this right here they're going to kind of use or this guy over the middle of the field um, they might because of the formation they might drop this guy into like a yellow zone so they can keep the option route underneath but you know that's kind of the this is kind of the basics or the starting point for defending this formation they're going to do something like that but as you can see this post route does a really really good job of getting separation now again you might sit there and be saying well, what if they run something like a cover two? Well, that's where this really comes in handy. Um, this little play comes in handy because against cover two, 
what's going to happen is this circle receiver on the right side, he's going to basically kind of fade to the right, and you're going to be able to kind of hit this. It's a really tight window, but oftentimes against cover two zone, you're going to have a lot of success with this. Again, these are 25-yard um, kind of cloud flat zones. As soon as he gets over the top, it's just an outside pass lead. And as you can see, so you're able to beat that 25-yard cloud flat on the outside uh, relatively easily. Another popular uh, way to run cover two would be to do something like this right here, where it's basically kind of almost like a match cover two. And what you'll see is the circle receiver again, once he gets over the top, because he's so far outside, it's it's right there you see he can get a little bit deeper. But if I were to take that tight end and just send that tight end vertical, that would open up that window. So you could also do something like that if you wanted. You could do you could do this with maybe like a motion, uh, like a motion streak or something like that. But this this play just has a lot of opportunity for you. And, and like I said, I like the smart routed option or um the smart routed out route because if we go to a play like the Mike Blitz three Mabel coverage, um, specifically on that right side of the field, uh, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see that the tight end should do a pretty good job of basically getting open here. So again, kind of right there, see how he's kind of right in between and I, I butchered the throw a little bit, but he, he gets kind of in an in-between spot. Um, it's a very strategic spot that he's gonna get placed in. And the cool part about it is, you know, again, that it's just it's just something that you can really work because the cool part about it is you have that post coming over the top of it, and that post is going to be more of that 25-yard route. But, like, right in here, you kind of kind of get that to him. And, of course, the yellow zone does help the defense a little bit. But let me show you this post route real quick here. So this is, like, this is like a ba again, a basic Mabel coverage. But I just want to show you the post route here. So if I set this play up just like so, let the motion snap, you kind of set it up just like this. If you watch that square receiver, look at all of that space that he's able to really operate in. There's just a lot of room for the user to mess up. You know, the user's really going to have to drag all the way across the formation with him. And that's what's going to really open up some things because all of your, there's nothing, that the user really can't do anything underneath, right? He's going to have to, um, he's really going to have to make a commitment to, to staying over the top of everything. So, for example, let's say they run like something like a cup four. You see, again, that's where that little tight and out route works really, really well against something like a cover four because those vertical routes are going to pull everything. You're going to get over the top of that very easily. Um, one other thing that I haven't touched on too much is these little streaks here. If you take a look at the circle receiver, his little fade route will sometimes just burn like inverted coverage. Right here, I don't know if it's going to, but sometimes it will just burn like if they're deep halfing. That, that route, that's just one of those routes that does a really good job against deep halves. But but anyways, guys, that is um, the, the deep out play. If you want to get my full uh, New England offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. It has trip side in, U-trip, split close, A-sod offset, bunch, five wide, pretty much everything in the New England Patriots playbook is completely broken down in depth. So if you want to get that New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900, and I'll put that in the description as well. Have a great day, guys.